Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Moe K, Swedish Whiskey Girl. And today we're here with White Horse. This is a liter bottle. Um, and yes, I haven't tried this in a while, so I thought it'd be fun to pick it out and try it for you all. So, White Horse is a blended whiskey. And oh, it's a blended Scotch whiskey. It says a 40% ABV and it's now known, known, owned by Diageo. It is a blend that's been around for quite a while. I think it's dating back to the 1880s. And it's actually named after a place here in Edinburgh. The White Horse Cellar Inn here in Edinburgh, which is located in the Canning Gates. And it was the starting point for the stagecoach between Edinburgh and London. And I mean, the inn itself was established, I believe, in 1742. So two places with a lot of history. Another quite weird thing that I realised when I poured this is that it has one of these old like pourers, like a built-in pourer, which is why it took so long to pour that low dram. It's, uh, I mean, quite handy if you're just pouring from a bottle, but you don't see them that often. So uh, yeah, that's a little bit of something different. And the White Horse Distillers is now no longer a company. And uh, they are owned by the Azure, like I mentioned. And it's quite known for having Lagavulin at the core of this blend. So it's going to be quite interesting to try it. Uh, let's start by having a look on the nose. First thing I'm getting is kind of a honey, like a sweet kind of sticky honey note. It's a little bit tricky to pick up anything on the nose. I wonder if it's because it's getting colder in here and it's getting harder for me to pick out any aromas from my whiskies. Let's see if we can warm it up a little bit and see if we get anything more. That's the problem with, uh, I, one of the biggest differences I see between the UK and Sweden is that I think it's always so cold inside houses here. And I think because we don't really have any isolation around the windows, the wind just comes straight in, which is quite nice because I like when it's a little bit colder, but yeah, it makes my whiskey cold. <laughs> Yeah, now we're getting a little bit more. It has like an earthiness to it. Like soil, if you're ever walked on like a, a field when it's been raining, you can smell the soil. That kind of earthiness. Honey and earthiness, interesting combination. And I think the earthiness has a touch of, um, of something that feels, I'm pretty sure it's the smoke, but it feels different. Hmm, how to describe that note? But I think it's almost like something burnt, because it's um, it's like a, a smoke, but it's, it's almost like it's it's an alarming smoke in a way. So maybe something like a burnt smoke with that honey and the earthiness that comes together. It's quite light on the nose as you can probably tell because I can't get that much of it. A little bit of hay as well. It's going to be very interesting to see what it's like on the palate compared to the nose. So let's have a little taste. Stanjava. Definitely getting more on the palate. And it's quite similar to the nose, actually. Oh, I might need to sneeze. No, I think I'm fine. <laughs> it's um, easy going, so smooth. There's definitely an oakiness on the palate, but it's yeah, it definitely has like a, a honey sweetness, but it's not overly sweet, it's just quite smooth. And there is a touch of smoke there, but it's, it's not overly smoky at all. I love about this bottle as well, <laughs> don't like that it's a litre bottle because it's quite heavy, but this old fashioned label, I just love that kind of style. So sometimes I look at auctions and I just look at these old bottles from the 70s and 80s just because I love the labels. And of course, it's history in a glass. Mm. 
I would say it's I still feel like I need to sneeze. Ugh, sorry. Um I still feel because it's so smooth, it's almost difficult to get much on the palette. But I still think of course you get that kind of whiskey flavour, but it's um definitely something that's easy sipping. If you like a touch of that kind of earthy smoke, then but just a tiny little touch of it, then yeah, this is a quite an easy going one. It could be a good introduction perhaps to someone. I haven't forgotten the price. It's uh, when I looked it was uh, around £25 for a 70cl bottle. Yeah, I love the hay, like hay honey and hay honey. <laughs> uh, hay and honey and a little bit of that earthy smoke which are like the three main things that comes out and I would say that he is that malt is like a malty note but it's not malty dry it's just it's one of those whiskies that's like to me it's, it doesn't have a bad flavor it's quite easy to sip it's um I mean it's almost probably a little bit too easy to sip for me now that I'm actually sitting down and thinking about it and talking about it, I'll probably remember it better. But if someone gave me this in a... If I had a few drams one night and someone gave me one of this, it might be that I would forget the flavour a little bit because it's so easy drinking. But I also think for a blend like White Horse, you want to be that easy going. And considering that it has a bit of smoke to it, I think it could appeal to some palates that like smoke. And yeah, it's um, still a bit tricky on the nose, and it almost has a note to it that is like some sort of candy. It's almost like honey, oh I can never say this word, but it's like throat sweets. I was gonna say the L-O said E-N-G-E-S word but I don't lozenges lozenges I can't say it <laughs> so throat sweets like honey throat sweets probably definitely that earthy almost burnt smoke on the nose I think because it is so smooth if you're used to drinking spirits at this strength at 4% then it feels quite refreshing so if you had, yeah, I think with a summer barbecue when you just want something really refreshing, this would be a good one. Yeah, I don't have that much to say about it. It's um, easy sipping. Those flavors, the hay, the earthy smoke, the, the honey, almost the honey throat sweets. And that's kind of it. I would of course love to hear if you have tried White Horse, what do you think about it? Do you agree with my tasting notes perhaps or don't you agree? I of course know that everyone's so different and we all get different things and different tasting notes. So I'd love to hear what you think. Please put your thoughts in the comment section here below. And of course, if you like what I'm doing here on YouTube and my other social channels, I'd be absolutely over the moon if you consider using my affiliate links the next time you're shopping with either Master Malt or the Whiskey Exchange or the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. All the information is, of course, in the description here below, as well as links to my Patreon, my Teespring shop, my Instagram and my website if you're curious about that. As always, a massive thank you to my wonderful supporters on Patreon. You guys are amazing and I'm so grateful you want to continue to support me on my whiskey journey. But I hope you've all had an absolutely wonderful day. Slanjava. Let's go on.